Hi there, I'm on my way home from Spain and taking the slow train into the Pyrenees from where I'll catch a night train to Paris. But on the way, let's hop off here and go and see something special. Bic is the capital of Asona and a place with a thing for sausages and giants. But we're here for an immersive experience that's inside saint Pierre Cathedral. And no, it's not a baptism. The walls of saint Pierre are completely covered in murals. They were painted between 1940 and 1945 by Joseph Maria Sert, and they were made to replace the ones he created for the cathedral in the 1920s, but had been destroyed when it had been gutted by fire in the Spanish Civil War. And they cover the typical Christian themes like Adam and Eve's fall, but while other artists depicted the fated duo with plenty of colourful allure, this is what Joseph wanted us to see. The turned down style is known as grisé, as it's usually painted in different shades of grey. And while he pared back the colour and fine detail, he beefed up the subjects with rippling muscles and great hats. Judging by the colour and some people's reactions to it, instead of grisé, perhaps certain style might better be known as marmite A. But love it or hate it, it's undeniably strong stuff. Maybe in these relatively peaceful and prosperous times, it can be hard to understand how being surrounded by graphic pictures of fellow humans meeting their grisly ends could be anything other than unsettling. But these were painted during a world war for a flock who had just suffered three years of brutal civil war, famine and disease, and feared more bloodshed could spill back over into Spain at any time. Could being surrounded by pictures of the suffering of the saints before their final redemption be some sort of comfort? We know war had had a profound effect on Joseph and the pictures he made. The murals we see here were his third attempt at decorating the church. His first designs after winning the commission as a bright young thing in his twenties were full of colour, but the First World War happened and his worldview changed. He abandoned his designs and created something more sober for the new times. But just six years after they were completed, the Spanish Civil War broke out and the cathedral was gutted by fire. His murals were destroyed and his friend Canon Jean Serra was killed. When the Civil War ended, he set to work on replacing the murals, all while the rest of Europe was tearing itself apart, and 45 years after he had first been commissioned to decorate the cathedral, he completed what we see now. Joseph died just two weeks later. There are now efforts underway to make sure more people get to know about the murals, and of Joseph Sert's other works, with exhibitions and guided tours. You can also see the remains of the previous murals that were salvaged from the cathedral, along with other artefacts at the City Hall and the local library. I've put some details in the description, so you can come and see them for yourself, as well as all the other things there are to do in Big. Cheerio!